Hello everybody, welcome to back to Man of Medan, the curator's cut. Uh, yeah, last time, kind of showed me just how much I'm really gonna need to cut out between all this, but that's fine. So we're like ten seconds. It's fine. Certain death. Well, certain. I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meep. This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played, there, man. No. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he just and now we're bread, and we're gonna go back to this pirate he thing. Forgot to bring it to us, and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Thanks. I left it below deck. If you want to check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna check this all out now. I'm Brad. So, camera here. We saw a secret on this before, but for whatever reason, I don't think it. Um. It activates and it counts unless you're Brad. I guess Brad just has the knowledge to recognize it and know what it is. Where is it? Oh crap! This. Yes, yeah, see, secret found. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it fucking counted before, and now it does. I I don't I don't know. So yeah. Oh wait, that's Conwin Island. I was totally right. Yeah. Great. If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of the century, people are going to think I married you for your money. No, oh, I was hoping they'd think you married me for my hot bot. Julia. <laughs> hey, you think well, you be both better be. I don't really care about your proposal anymore. I just need it for one thing later. So shut up. I don't fucking care. Him. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh yeah, the beers. I was yeah, get the beers. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, Julia's just there because I was fat. Down here. Yeah. Nothing to worry about, sis. Just getting them beers. Ah, but now that I'm brat, I can tell the ghost story. Nice. Alright, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad. I can make Maybe we can the best ghost here. story, or the worst. <laughs> okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Congratulations. Congratulations again, dude. Seriously, I'm really happy for you guys. Can't believe I actually did it. Uh, How long have you been keeping this a secret from your closest family member slash best friend slash trusted confidant slash unofficial life brother thing, financial you know. advisor? <laughs> been thinking about it for months, actually. <laughs> Sounds kind of good now, but... I've never picked that option, so I'm things. interesting. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Bro, all the bros. <laughs> One, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. All the bros. So, we're going again tomorrow? Ah! Uh, Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find you. Thanks. Bradder for Brace and Lee. You got a girlfriend? Uh, not my strong suit. Hey, nothing to be ashamed of. We all hit our stride eventually. Me, I popped out full sprint, dragged my mom right off the table. <coughs> Ew. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Dudes make too big a deal out of getting girls. Yeah, what's the big deal about girls? I, I don't... Well, they're quite good in bed. I'm just <laughs> What is this conversation? Uh What about you? Are you uh with anybody? Um 
What happened before? That's not really your business, Brad. Right here. Ah. Are you all asking about my personal love life in here? <laughs> about Brad's personal love life? You can't, you know, stop it. Hey, hello there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. Yes, I'm easy on the beer. The bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's, uh... When you come it don't the drink the beer, oh, Julia. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Shit. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. Yeah. That is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something east pain. Julia. Or it'll make it worse, so don't fucking drink. Right oh, come on. Do not drink. I'm telling you, take orders from this guy, just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck! Well, bye, Julia. You're dying later. <laughs> you're so right, fucking Julia. dead later. Check it out. <laughs> oh, Julia, I cannot do anything. <laughs> Julia, I tried my best to keep you alive. Here. But instead, you decided to just fucking kill yourself. Good job, Julia. Maybe the plane's destination. Oh, my God, Julia. We could get there by tomorrow. Oh, my God, Julia. Steady. Wow. Julia. There was a flight plan on board that seems to be. Oh, my God, Julia. Yeah. That makes sense. Why? Turn long range. Why did you come up? I thought I would do everything to get either like listen to Alex and not go up the fucking. Oh my god! Before they could deliver all the rats, there was only one missing. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. The crew was from Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respect Julia is so fucking dead later. <laughs> Whatever you took, it was too... Uh. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? I get to make the ghost story time. Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Let's spin all the yarn. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. All right, let's see if I remember what he, pit, what he said last time. Uh, we'll pick right the stuff that doesn't, you know. In an old know. lighthouse. Classic setup. Maybe. True story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. I got the in-flight magazine. <laughs> comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. This ghost story is so good every fucking time. I don't care. Good. Especially up there, you can change it a little bit. Smooth. The woman answers. You know what? You don't get this, Aisha. Julie, you drank the fucking beer and went up. And you're going to die from the fence. The lighthouse keeper. That isn't so. He's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there... Splayed out on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts. Cliches and all. I don't remember the pick last time. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? Hmm. The woman says. It was my brother. And she turns to the closet and says, He's hiding in there. 
Ah, oh, great. Blame the brother. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own, his own throat, man. <laughs> Mortified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Come on. Closer. Closer. There's a lightning. It's gonna come through the jump scare. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Oh, hey, super twist. Nice. Super the twist. Love it. Nice one, Squire. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Hit me on the cheese there, corn dog. I mean, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Fucking cared. It was fun. All had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. All right, here's where I need to start making actual important choices here. I need to get Conrad to stay here and not take the speedboat, and I need Brad to stay hidden so that he gets the gas mask later. It's important that I fucking do this, so... Let's do it. Danny. Oh yeah, let's not do that with a gun pointed to our head. Let's let's not. Thank you. Yeah, why uh, punch him with a gun or a head? Yeah, that's the smartest idea, uh-huh. I'll be right back. Actually, I need to do something. All right, I'm back. I am back. Let's do this. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I know, I know. I just gotta wait for Conrad first. I say not voices first. Not mine. Well, probably like as a relationship. Good. All right, there's Julius. Talk with Julia. You okay? I think so. Well, that was pointless. That was very pointless. The stuff that we had to do. Why does ah, feel muffled and whatever fucking reason? It's like my computer is acting like I'm hitting them with the mouse. Ugh. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's coming up. Hey, so uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of. Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. God damn it, Conrad. Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. Jesus. <laughs> uh, 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 um. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? 
Um. I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. What? What the fuck is? My computer is acting like I'm moving the mouse. I am not moving the fucking mouse. That's what's up. The fucking cords. Oh, now I get to see what I want Alex to do earlier. Fuck out. I'll be back for you later. All right, bye, Junior. Conrad! Every fucking time. All right, uh... This could be a problem with quick times if my computer decides to keep moving the mouse every time the cords move. Holy cow! What's happening? Can you see? God, Julia. Uh, hold on a moment while I fix this problem. All right, should be good now. Should be good. All the cords should be out of the way. I hope. Look at it. Shouldn't be a problem. I hope. Fuck. I'm gonna kill every one of them. <sighs> You'll get another chance later. I just blindly. That can take them all out at once. We need to get free. First things first. Oh, I got it. I got it. The scissors? Yes. yes. Wait a second. Did I see that correctly? I thought I saw the scissors down there already. What? and Julia breaking heads. Not the other way around. Uh-huh, okay. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. Uh. Did you see my brother? No. All right, he doesn't know. He's Good. Well, these guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Hi. Hi, Bob. I saw the curator! I see you! Fuck. I still see you! You little bit. You son of a gun. Um. Julia. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. Let's take him out. Do not get on the fucking boat. We can catch him by surprise. Take him out. We should just rush him. Take the gun. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave yeah. us here, okay? Yeah, don't leave okay, us here. Let's do it. Two, three. 
do. But you can't. No! That was on purpose. Conrad, go to the other side. We'll hit them together. Shit. And now we have the bottle of perfume. Now I'm gonna whack the shit out of you. And not fuck this up. Here. Come on, come on. Stop, you're struggling. You want me to cut you? Huh? Stay back. Keep your eyes open. Conrad? Oh, good. Let him go. No! Alex, this is crazy. We're done. You win. That's all I need. That's all I fucking need. Conrad's on the boat. Good. <laughs> and no one's getting shot. There. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. <sighs> All right. Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Okay. Now I just gotta keep riding. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is, of you is gonna, who's gonna tell me about this? About this? Manchurian gold. <laughs> I love the way he says it. Oh, I love it. Hey, turn around. You gave me your best shot. All right. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> All right. Yeah, break it, gangster shit. Huh. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. Mm. Hey, come on. We're just passing the time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Ah, oh, come on. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Got it. Sit still. All of you. Not my fucking fault. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Something? Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not saying anything. What the hell is going on, Alex? Julia, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, but it seems very possible. You are not fine with the fucking bend. Bend? What do you want? Ah. Uh... Want to point that thing somewhere else? What if it goes off by accident? No such thing. No such thing as accident with that. Oh. Oh fuck. Whoa. Shit. That fucking close, man. I hope you helped you. Uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, okay, she is helping Julia. Hey! Move it! Now! Thanks, I guess. Anyone know no. Brad? Shh. Hiding somewhere? Brad hides! Oh, Brad stays worries. Brad stays hidden. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. No, he stays hidden. He'll be okay. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Bliss is right. No way we risk it. He could drown. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Oh, good. good, they didn't get Brad. Ugh. I was like, no, he stays the fuck down there. Hello? I fucking need that? Hello? I need him to stay down there. Stop arguing with me and let him stay the fuck down there. Everyone's still alive. Good. Things quite different. And things went out the way I wanted. Nearly went wrong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, Julia, let me keep Brad down there. Julia, let me keep Brad down there. It's for a good fucking reason. Please, let him stay the fuck down there. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? No, thank you. No, thank you. What well, well, will be, will be. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Thanks. Anyway, now that you've reached the point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. Yeah, kind of. I mean, that's a thing. Apart from the other may person. not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah. So now we've beaten an act, as the game will call it, in uh, party night. It shows what everyone does. In most train phase, most head decisions, found most of it, most of it, you get the idea. It shows this stuff. It's kind of fun. But that is it for now. Um, thank you for watching. This will probably be the shortest part because of the stuff I have to cut out. But thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. We're, we'll go to on the boat and there's a lot I have to cut out. But whatever. See you then.